I have read so many different books on helping procrastination, but when it comes to ADHD, they are kind of hit and miss. So I have actually implemented a lot of these different types of strategies that I've read over the years, not only help with my ADHD procrastination, but also helping a lot of my ADHD patients that do struggle with procrastination. So here are the three rules that are gonna beat your ADHD procrastination in three minutes. The first rule is you need to figure out what is your energy flow in the day, as well as what is your work week analytics. It's important to identify what type of task actually give you energy and what types of tasks actually suck energy. What are tasks that actually get you excited and what are tasks that you hate doing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a booklet and for the next week, you're going to actually write down every single thing that you do in a day, whether that is checking an email, going to the bathroom, eating, whatever it is, you're gonna write down every single uh, task. Now it is tedious, but trust me, this is a game changer to see really just get a broad view of what you do in a day. Then once you've done that, then you're gonna take a pen and you're gonna look at every single task that you've written down for that whole seven days. And you're going to either write a plus and a plus means that it was actually productive. And you're gonna do, you know, three pluses or four pluses, so up to four pluses if it was a really productive activity. Then you're also going to mark all the activities with the minus that actually was not productive or efficient with your time. Then the next step is you're gonna grab two highlighters, one that's red and one that's green. You're gonna highlight all the ones with green that gave you energy and something that you were excited to do. When you were doing that task, you're like, wow, I can do this for a longer period of time. I love doing this kind of stuff. You're gonna highlight all those things with green. Then you're gonna mark everything else with red that if it was activities that cause to draw more energy from you and it's tasks that you just hate doing. You're gonna mark those all red. Rule number two is to batch all similar activities together so that way you're not asking your brain to task switch too many times because the more you do that, that is gonna deplete your energy and of course cause procrastination. So how you're gonna do this is you're gonna look at everything that is highlighted green and that are more the plus signs. So maybe have like a two or more plus sign behind it. You're gonna batch all similar activities that are green and you're gonna put those maybe at the beginning of the day, especially if you have better energy at the beginning of the day. Then things that are red, you're gonna batch all similar activities that are also red and that are high plus number productive activities. You're gonna batch those together and then you're going to put that more at the, where you have lower energy in the day, whether that is the end of the day or the beginning of the day, depending on you. Now, the reason why you do this is because you want to be able to do your most high productive activities that are green that actually give you energy. So that way you can do the red type of activities and not procrastinate and push those ones off. Now, now, if you're getting any value in this video, then hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like to learn how to optimize your brain. Now, the third rule is what I call the five minute rule. So this is when you are really procrastinating, even if it is a green activity and you're finding that you are procrastinating because it might be too big, too daunting. What you need to do, and this is something that's worked all the time with me and with my patients and clients, is you just say, I'm just gonna do it for five minutes. It's what I call the five minute rule. You're gonna say, okay, I'm just gonna do this for five minutes. That's all you're going to do. And then by doing so, when you do it, something magical happens because you're just tricking your brain, your agency brain, just to to say, okay, I could do that for five minutes. You will end up actually doing it more than five minutes and then you'll get in the flow state because that's the hardest part is just getting in the flow state to be able to do something that is difficult because once you've gotten the motion going, you will finally do the whole thing. Now, if you're someone that does struggle actually with self-improvement and don't know what to do and understand why, then you should watch this video next over here that explains why self-improvement doesn't work with ADHD and what you can do about it.